Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best bench top drill press currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my favorite five. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip the fluff and just jump into my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, go down in the description there and check out that list to guarantee you get the lowest price. All right, so let's kick it off with a real drilling sensation, the WEN 4214 12 inch. Now I know what you're thinking, a drill press, how exciting can that really be? But hold on to your hard hats. Some of the key features, digital display. This drill press has been to school. It's got a digital readout. So now you can impress your friends with your laser precise RPM stats, which range from a gentle caress at 580 RPM to an absolute mad lad at 3200 RPM. A depth stop. So admit it, you can be shallow sometimes. Good thing is, this has an adjustable depth stop for consistent and repeatable drilling. A power motor, a two-third horsepower motor that's more horse than most of you have ever ridden. This drill could probably go through a medieval shield, not that you should try it. It's a work table. The work table, adjustable 45 degree in either direction with a crank handle. It's like a DJ turntable, but for wood, get the angle, drop the beat, drill the hole. The pros, depth for days. This thing can go through two two by fours stacked together. So you know, if you're building a siege tower, WAN has got you covered. It's a digital diva. The digital speed readout is like your personal assistant, always there to keep you informed, but never talking back. Also quality workspace. Let's be real, this work table is so good you could almost eat dinner on it. Don't, but you could. The cons, a bit of a stiff lever. Adjusting the speed might require you to hit the gym first. It's not a bug though, it's a feature. Think of it as your daily forearm workout. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best value. It's another one from WEN. This is the eight inch five speed drill press. So this is like the younger, more budget conscious sibling of the 4214. Not quite as showy, a little less brawny, but hey, still gets the job done while not burning a hole in your pocket. Well, I mean, it can burn holes, but that's kind of the point. Key features, speed settings. This one's got five preset speeds, like a microwave, but more useful. Your RPM choices range from a lethargic 740 to an almost breakneck 3140. A tilting table, so a work table that tilts 45 degree both ways, ideal for those of you who like to look your projects from a slanted perspective. Also motor power, a one third horsepower motor. So if you're tackling small to medium duty tasks, this thing's got just enough horsepower for you. The pros, DIY dream. This thing is about as hard to set up as a tent from Ikea, if Ikea tents were super easy to assemble, that is. A space saver. If your workspace resembles a crowded subway car, this compact model is your ticket to productivity. Also kind to your wallet. Let's be honest, you probably spend more on artisanal coffee every month than you would on this piece of hardware. The cons though, no crank. The work table is manual. You'll have to use your hands like some sort of peasant, but come on, it's not like you're manually churning butter here. The next one is my recommendation for the best premium option, and this is the Jet J2530. So this is the I've made it in life of drill presses. This is the drill press for those of you who want your workshop to be as well equipped as a Michelin starred kitchen. Some of the key features, motor power, a three quarter horsepower motor that's so strong it could practically open a jar of pickles for you. Swiveling work table, this table does a full 360. It's the Tony Hawk of drill presses. Speed variability with 16 speeds ranging from a snail's pace at 200 RPM to Screaming Eagle at 3630 RPM. It's the drill press with a midlife crisis in the best possible way. The pros, smooth operator. This baby runs smoother than a Jack's saxophonist on a Saturday night. Motor that endures, this won't bog down, even if you're drilling through adamantium. Well, not adamantium, but you get the point. Diverse speeds with 16 speeds. It's like the drill press equivalent of a Swiss army knife. The cons, it is a bit pricey. If you have to ask how much it costs, maybe stick to hand tools. It's also a bit of a heavyweight. It weighs over 150 pounds. Perfect if you were looking to replace your gym membership with occasional lifting and repositioning. The next one on the list is my best multi-use option. This is the Shop Fox 13 inch benchtop drill press. So this is a tool that multitasks so you don't have to. It drills, it sands, it probably makes julienne fries if you squint hard enough. All right, maybe not, but it's still two tools for the price of 
one slightly expensive tool. Some of the key features, dual nature. It's like the superhero of your workshop, but instead of a cape, it wears a dust mask. A dust mask. It can drill and sand at the same time? No, but that would be a miracle. Broad speed range as well, from a contemplative 250 RPM to a frantic 3050 RPM, this tool offers you a wide emotional spectrum of speeds. Tiltable table. The table tilts a full 90 degrees on either side just in case your woodworking projects ever require some avant-garde angles. The pros of this in a nutshell, two for one. You're getting a drill press that's also a spindle sander. It's the buy one, get one free of the mechanical world. Speed spectrum, no need to be Speedy Gonzalez or a Slowpoke Rodriguez. This machine caters to all paces. It's nifty work table, smooth, round, tiltable. No, we're not describing a high-end office chair. We're talking about this work table, very versatile. The cons though, power button. The power button is on the left, slightly counterintuitive maybe, but it's not like you're trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded, so a bit of nitpicking there. The next one on the list is gonna go to my recommendation for the best mortiser, and this is the Powermatic 3 quarter HP Bench Mortiser. So this is a tool that's so specialized, it's practically got a PhD in making holes in wood. Perfect for all of you aspiring furniture and cabinet magnates, and let's face it, who isn't these days? So, the key features, single speed motor, you've got one speed option, 1725 RPM. No dilly dallying here, it's go big or go home. Advanced hold down system. It's got a grip so firm it could give a professional wrestler a run for his money. A drill press impersonation. While it's not really a drill press, it can fake it till it makes it for some drill related tasks. The pros in a nutshell, raw power. It's got enough horsepower to challenge Secretariat in a sprint. That's a lot considering Secretariat is a famous racehorse. Also, one size doesn't fit all. This tool plays nice with various chisel sizes, proving that it's as inclusive as a politically correct nursery rhyme. Also a depth stop. If you want precision, this has got it. And if you don't want precision, why are you even here? The cons in a nutshell, long bits required. So you'll need longer bits. Consider it the tools version of high heels. It just wants to reach higher heights. All right, so those are my recommendations. I tried to include some variety there to cater to whatever your needs are. If you do have any questions though, drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.